Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, I'll share with you how to create sand clock animation in PowerPoint. This is a simple animation and it really shows you how to work with multiple animations so that you're able to communicate a concept. The beautiful sand clock animation you will learn to create today looks like this. This is the simplest way you can design an animated sand clock. On a click, you can see that the sand flows from one compartment to another. Once you learn how to create this basic one, you can create variations like this one, which shows a different way in which sand clock animation looks. Or if you want something more sophisticated, like in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle version 2.0, you can see that we talk about sand clock for present and future. On a click, you can see that this represents the present. Then we show the transition phase and then we show the future. If you want a variation of this, animated sand clock can also look like this. This is the present and then we show the transition and the future. So the basis for all those kind of animated sand clocks is just this simple animated sand clock. So let us learn how to create this one from scratch. The first step is to draw a triangle. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From basic shapes, let us pick up this one called as isosceles triangle and then hold the shift button down as you draw an isosceles triangle like so. The next step is to give it a gray color. So I'm going to use something like this one. This represents sand. Then let us make a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and then let us have this with no shape fill and have shape outline in black color and let us increase the weight of this to around six points and then let us place this right on top of the previous one. The next thing we need to do is to create a base for this triangle. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery once again. From rectangles, let us pick up this one called as Rectangle Rounded Corners and then let us draw a rounded corners rectangle like this and then let us move this yellow handle to the center and then reduce the height so that you have these rounded corners and then let us place it over here and now we have our base in place. Next, let us select everything. Press Ctrl G and then press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then let us go to Home, Arrange, Rotate and say Flip Vertical and you place this over here. So we have got our basic sand clock ready. There is one other thing that we need to have, which is a rectangle and that represents the flow. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a thin rectangular bar like this that extends from the neck of the sand clock to the bottom. Then let us go to Shape Fill and give it the same gray color that we used earlier. So this is the gray color. And then let us go to Shape Outline, say No Outline. And then while this is selected, that is while this bar is selected, let us add some animation to that one. The first thing we need to do is to go to Animations, go to a simple wipe animation and this wipe needs to happen from top and that is our first animation. That is the rectangle that we created is going to enter as wipe from top to the bottom. Excellent. The next thing we need to do is to ungroup these elements so that we can animate the sand. Then we go to the inverted triangle and then let us have this wipe down. So let us go to animation options, go to exit and say wipe and the direction needs to be changed from bottom up to from top. So that is how it goes down and we can decide the duration of this transition. So we can have this maybe for around two seconds or two and a half seconds. It's completely up to you. We can say this happens after previous. While this chamber empties out by way of wipe out animation, we will have this chamber filling in. So we will use wipe animation and this happens from bottom by default. And let us have the duration match the previous one. If you remember the earlier time we had two and a half as the duration and we are going to have it exactly the same way and we will have this happen with previous. That is it. We just have three simple animation events. The first one is the rectangular bar wiping in. 
and then this wiping out and this one wiping in and let us see how the slideshow happens. You can see we have the sand in the top chamber. On a click we have the sand pouring down and then this chamber emptying out and this chamber filling in. It's that simple to create the sand clock animation. You can use this simple animated icon to talk about present and future or about before and after. There are multiple uses to this simple animated graphic. Remember, our endeavor has always been to teach you simple things that help you give confidence in creating your own animated diagrams. However, if you are a busy professional who doesn't have the time to create these animated graphics for your presentation, then you can always go for our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle has more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that allow you to create visual presentations in a matter of minutes. Let me show you a template from our all-in-one bundle that communicates the concept of going from present to future using an interesting animation. This is the graphic. Here you see present and you can write your text about the present situation and you have future here and you can write your text about the future situation and then to represent the entity that is in the present we bring in this ball and then we have a hand that connects present to the future and you have the transition happening. It's a very interesting way to communicate your story using animation and this is available as a ready-made template in our all-in-one bundle. In our version 2.0, we are planning to have something even simpler, like say this one. This shows dead end and this is the bright future. And you can see that this is how we label each of these elements. And then a hand comes and shows the movement from here to here and what you can do or what strategy you can use to go from the present to the future. If you want a break in the middle, you can have a variation like this. This is present to future via a stop gap arrangement. We have the current situation and then we have the desired future and we have the stop gap arrangement which is shown like this. Isn't this beautiful? There are so many ways in which you can communicate the concept of moving from present to future and you can tell some beautiful stories with PowerPoint custom animation. I will leave a link to comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle in the description box below the video. You can click on the link, come check out this product and see how this product can change the way you create your presentations. Finally, if you want to access free mini training courses on PowerPoint that I share only with my newsletter subscribers, you can click on the link here, join the newsletter and get access to these useful and practical mini training courses on PowerPoint. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.